Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share all of the, that I can remember at least, all of the recommendations that you have given me over the past couple of years that I really, really love. I test a lot of things out. Sometimes I don't always like them, but you guys know I keep it real. But these are recommendations that you guys shared with me and some of these are like my favorite products so that's why I always say please 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 always share your recommendations because I love testing out new products and if I don't like it it's okay it's nothing you know it's okay it's just it's just makeup okay <laughs> all right this is one that's pretty recent and I love this I love this and if it wasn't for you you know who I'm talking about I would not have tried this so thank you. So this is from YSL. I'm going to zoom you in, okay? This is called the Touche Eclay 3D All Over Glow. Oh my god, I freaking love this. I love it. I love it. So this is the beautiful packaging on it. First off, I freaking love it. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I love it. I just use it like in this area of my cheeks a little bit, you know. I don't use it all over my face. You can if you want to. I just like to, you know, just kind of because it kind of softens, kind of gives you a pretty glow, kind of. It's more to me like a finishing powder, okay. So pretty. Love this. Love this. I pretty much use this every day. I love it. I really, really do. So thank you so much for recommending that i love it this is a game changer for me so many of you guys recommended this for a while now i heard so much hype about this i was like whatever i just didn't believe the hype but then i'm like you know what i'm gonna give it a try it's the truth treatments this stuff has changed my skin i King love this. Love it. I always have a backup of my stuff. Always. You're not going to run out of it that fast, but I just don't want to run out of it when I'm when it's empty because the bottles are dark. So when you run out, you don't know when you're going to run out. Vitamin C serum, hyaluronic hydrator, and this is the mineral mist. Do you have to use this with it? I do. Because I feel like that's the way that Ben created it. I don't know if you can use another wa water mist with it. I don't know. But I've gotten so many of these free. Because I have jumped on sales that Christina's had. Where you know you just get it free. So I haven't had to pay one for a long time already. <laughs> you know. This has changed my skin. So thank you guys so much. For introducing it to me. I'm so glad that I tried it. There are, there, I test a lot of skincare. And there have been things that I've tried and I do not see anything for a while. And sometimes I don't see anything at all. I'm like, I don't get the hype. I actually saw a difference on my skin as soon as I started using this. And that's never happened really with anything else. I just really love this. I believe in it. And I thank you guys so much for sharing this with me. I really do. This, this is a product that wasn't really introduced. I just thought of something else. So I'm gonna grab it. Um, this is a product that wasn't necessarily introduced to me, but I shared a video and I said, I this is some overhyped makeup. I am I would not spend the money on this. And I had someone say, um that stuff is really good actually I think it was a couple of people said you know what it's actually really really good and it's definitely worth the money I was like really <sighs> and it is <laughs> it's the Sicily concealer that's how I found out about it that's how I found out about it I did a video and I said this stuff is ridiculous it's so overpriced so many people have told me that too and I get it because if you don't try it and you don't know you I get it I thought that too. I thought that stuff is BS. Okay. And then I tried it. I was like, oh my God, now I get the hype. 
it's such a great found it's such a great concealer because it conceals it is not drying under your eyes it doesn't look like you're wearing a concealer meaning it doesn't look heavy you know how full coverage foundations can look really heavy and you can see it this is not like that it's just fabulous the only negative is that you don't get a lot of selection as far as colors i really wish this lee would really get with it and offer more colors because this is not going to work for everybody unfortunately but I absolutely love it and it is because of you that I got it so thank you I'm gonna say thank you a lot in this video because that's like my holy grail I do love this one too it's in front of me I love the Anastasia this is another one that's great but this wasn't recommended um, from my subscribers. I just decided to give it a try. I do really like it, but that's still my holy grail. This is something that wasn't even in my radar, and I was blown away when I tried this. Okay, and I'm just surprised that nobody ever talks about it. I'm actually wearing it today, and it's this. This is from Laura Mercier. This is the highlight number one, another one of a uh, subscriber recommendation it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i mean look at i like to wear a highlighter that looks like this it just looks like skin and it just looks like my skin is glowing that's what i like i don't want glitter or anything this is so gorgeous and oh my god you get so much product it's going to last me forever seriously because you don't have to use a lot i would not use this all over your face i would really recommend just using it like maybe the top part of your cheek or something like that you know what i mean this was such a great recommendation this is one of the i, I think i only have two chanel eyeshadow palettes um i wanted to get more but i don't know how i feel about them right now because i just feel like I don't know they're changing formulas and so many things I don't know if their eye color is the same if you've tried any recent eyeshadows from Chanel and you really like it share below share the color I will check it out okay but I had somebody recommend this and oh my gosh I love it I haven't worn this one in a while and I need to, to pull this out okay this is the from Chanel and this is the Tisse Rivoli I hope I'm saying that right it's beautiful I love these colors they're all shimmers but they're beautiful beautiful they're pigmented gorgeous don't be afraid to wear shimmers I hear so many mature people say that I think everybody can wear a little bit of shimmer I don't think it looks I don't I, I think it still looks flattering I really really do even if you just wear a little bit in your lid you know I'm wearing all shimmers today I'm wearing a Dior palette which I'm gonna talk about next but I love this and again this was a this was recommendation from subscribers these are some of my favorite palettes and I don't oh I do have them all I have four of them right now okay and they are from Dior and this was recommended again from subscribers I kind of looking at them for several years but I was like eh. but I had so many of you guys reach out and say you have to try them they're amazing and I'm so glad that I listened to you so this is the one that I'm wearing today and this is in the color this one's called house of dreams that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today I did kind of like a sort of a smoky look it's kind of a I don't know that I would wear this during the day I don't know but um but I did an eye look with it today, so that's what I'm wearing. But look at how beautiful that is. It's gorgeous. I love their palettes. They're beautiful eyeshadows. They're pigmented. They're blendable. This is another one. This is called Grand Bale. I think it's B-A-L. So I don't know if you pronounce it ball, but gorgeous. So beautiful. I've worn all these in videos. So I will do some more looks. This is... um. I think this is Mitza. This one's called Mitza. That one's really pretty. I've worn that a lot too. Always get compliments. And this one is Nude Dress. So they have um, the one that I, the first one I showed you, the one that I'm wearing, those were like um, limited edition for the holidays. When I'm, but this video was, I don't know if it's still available or not. I hope that it is. But they had, they had two of them. They had one that was more like more warm tones but I just felt like I have enough 
and like it just seemed too similar to what I have you know I try to anytime I get shadows now I try to make sure that I'm not just getting the same stuff over and over and over again but in a different palette you know what I mean I'm trying to I actually bought several eyeshadows this year um I don't know if you guys want to see a video on it if you guys want to see a video of me ranking my eyeshadow palettes or you know just newer ones that I've you know discovered this year let me know in the comments and that's a video that I can share for you if I get enough people saying yes 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 then that's something that I can do if you guys want me to share that lip pencils and I don't think the glosses were part of this uh, so I was looking to try some other lip liners this year and so so many of you guys I might have even asked in a video you know if there's any lip products or whatever and these are the two that you guys recommended I really do like them this one is from Pat McGrath and this one is called starstruck I believe yeah this one's called starstruck so I'm going to show you what it looks like in the back of my hand because it's weird on in um online it looks different but this is a really nice color because I feel like I can wear it with a lot of different uh lipsticks really really pretty color really wears well on me Charlotte Tilbury is still like my best one as far as wear but this is really nice and the other one that I love that I'm actually wearing today is from Huda and this is the muted pink now you guys didn't recommend the colors you just recommended the lip liners themselves and this is the muted pink that's the one that I'm wearing today love it I need to order another one of these um because the thing about this is you twist it I don't know how much more I have left and I use it quite a bit at least with this one when you're sharpening it down you can see when you're getting to the bottom of it I like this because if I can pack it in my bag I don't ever have to worry about sharpening it so that I like and I don't think this has a sharp I think I did that before it does have a sharpener on the end oh, I'm such a dork um this is probably the only product of hers that I really like. I've tried some of her other products. I've been disappointed, but I really like this. But the nice, so what I was saying, the nice thing about this is I, I like that you can just keep on cranking it up, you know, if you bring it with you. Where this one, you don't, there isn't a sharpener on the bottom. Yeah, there's no sharpener on the bottom. So if it, I always have to make sure that it's sharpened before I leave with it. Because I always have a lip liner and a lipstick and a gloss on my lipstick, on my my makeup that's that's what I bring with when I go out I don't bring powders I don't touch up my face once my makeup is on it's on the only thing that I touch up is my lip products that is it so so those are all the things that you guys have recommended over the years that I really really enjoy so again if you guys have any recommendations anything that you recently discovered an eyeshadow panel a blush whatever leave it in the comments below if it's something that I'm interested in checking out or skincare if it's something that I'm interested in checking out I will do that and uh, I will share my thoughts in a video so thank you guys so much for joining me really hope that you enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys all in my next one bye i have to take this um liner off really quick because otherwise i will go to do a thumbnail and i'll just have like two pink up oh, wow oh my goodness wow that pat mcgrath i can't wipe it off i have to use makeup remover what it's good it's really good okay well here I go again it's 2 30 in the afternoon or maybe it's almost three o'clock and I have not eaten yet but I have to clean up my crap first so I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day hopefully you're having a great holiday season today I don't think I have anything funny to share no I don't think I have anything good to share I just don't <laughs> sorry so I'm good you guys all in my next one